not gonna say it. Can't make me say it. I don't wanna say it. Everybody was saying it when I released the speeder bike. But everybody kept saying it. I don't wanna say it. You can't make me say it. Okay. Fine. Now this is pod racing. What's up people, it's your boy Jatois, and we are here today with Pod Racer, spelled with an F for some reason. F-A-O-D. Fod Racer, Pod Racer. Actually have the front and back blade pitches separately set. So I went ahead and combined them back to a single cow. So we actually have a cow controlling a cow controlling a part. And we're gonna see how well that works. <laughs> I am not seeing these moving. That would be a problem. That's only position one, but it only goes to a value of one. That's not gonna work at all. So first things first, we need to set our front so it's barely coming up. And then we need to adjust our rear so it is coming up. 2.5. We're already lifting there. The front is much heavier than the rear on this craft. And it looks like, oh my god, we've done it. We are airborne of our fodderers. <laughs> That is wonderful! Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, so let's let's now work on our forward velocity. There you go. Now we're going forward, so we're gonna have to tone it up a bit carefully, so we don't start going all crazy on us. We're going to turn off our our caps lock so we can do some better maneuvers here. Oh yeah, I'm like I am feeling this. All right, all right. <sighs> We're pod racing. <laughs> no, this is pod racing. <laughs> oh my god, this is all sorts of fun. And it's just as stable as the other one I built, kind of. But oh, I say that now. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh crap! <laughs> well, that sh that didn't happen in the movie. Ah! <laughs> better, better, better. No, 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 no. Worse, 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 worse. No, <laughs> it's so hard to tell. Oh. <laughs> this is no slow speed racer. This is no slow pod racer. Oh my god. Okay, forty-five meters per second. That's not too shabby. All right, this front has got way too much going on, so we're gonna have to lower the front pitch a bit. So we can nose down a little bit more. Oh yeah. Oh no! I did it again! <laughs> Holy crap! Alright, so this stuff is not easy. This stuff is hard. This stuff is very, very hard. There we go. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty nice and stable. All right, so let's take this thing for a little jaunt around the around the KSC. This is definitely a little a bit of fun, but you have to be careful when you yaw too hard because it goes into this unrecoverable spin, which is really hard because 
you're so close to the ground. So unlike the other crafts where they can kind of float, this one is off balance enough so it becomes an issue. So it needs to be off balance because I'm trying to stay somewhat true to the design of the craft. And as you can see here, uh, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to control this. And we managed to get it back. Okay. Oh my god. It definitely needs a lot more y'all control. But we are pod racing! <laughs> oh my god. I want to get it to a clearing so I can go from the front and take a look at it. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Okay. If it starts to do that, I just need to roll a bit into it. And I should be able to counter it a bit better. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yes. <laughs> okay. If you're probably wondering why the chains are holding strong, I have some tricks that I use in my book to allow this to actually hold a lot stronger. And each one is actually locked, but it is like a solid chain of sorts. And it's holding it there just for looks it is doing absolutely nothing <laughs> everything is actually just offset it's all a lie <laughs> i have another one that does use the chains to actually hold but it is horrible because you know well physics but yes this thing is actually this is actually pretty fun if i could get it to better speeds and get that y'all under control it would be a lot better but that would involve me actually having to go against the designs and actually put in a wing and i don't want to do the wing no so we're just gonna have to make this work can we make it through the, the, the pass through there it's gonna be a squeeze it's gonna be a squeeze and a bit of y'all tweaking all right we got this. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, it was cool and it was terrifying. And oh my god, this is pod racing. Oh my god, this is pod racing. <laughs> Oh my god, short video. I will post a link to this one in the description down below. If you guys would like to try it, let me know. So that way you guys can actually feel a bit of my pain in flying this one. It is it is flying pretty well, but it takes some piloting technique and skill to overcome its shortcomings based on the design. So if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think. I hope to catch you guys in the next video for now. It's your boy Joshua. <laughs> we are out. Peace. Oh my god, are we going to smash into something? Okay, no, we're, we're, we're still good. Oh, peace. Oh my god, that is so unnerving. Tally ho! <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> what? Now that's some good design. <laughs> oh no!
Oh, that flagpole is a beast. We're coming back. We're not done with you. We're not done with you. <laughs> oh, we are done with you. Never mind. We changed our minds. We are totally done with you. We changed our minds again. We're not done with you. <laughs> <Dunk. laughs> what is that flag in the air? We have a UFO. <laughs> 